In a previous video, I spoke about how you should, how people really should try to avoid pissing off someone who is very optimistic and very kind-hearted. Why would I say something like that? Have I ever been in that mindset before, of the opposing type? Well, actually, yeah. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. This is kind of more an about me thing than anything else. I have been thrown under the bus so many times in my life. In fact, this channel sh actually showcases one of these times. It's far, it, it's what feels like far in the past at this point, especially with all the events that have been happening in my life recently, all of them being very good and very, honestly, make me feel very blessed. But every now and then there is that point in time where I get pushed to a point where it pisses me off to a degree that can be harmful if I were the type of person to be violent. Now, I'm not a violent person, at least not towards people. Prime example of what I'm talking about, people have pissed me off before. And I can actually showcase the kind of damage um, with my controller that I'm using for uh, the video later today, the kind of damage that has been done. That that crease plus this right here, that was caused out of a rage for me. And believe it or not, no, not towards the game. I was playing a game at the time when it happened, but an individual, at this point I actually don't remember who, i surprised I can't given that I remember all, pretty much all the other details. There was a specific individual who pretty much argued with me about like controversial stuff to a point that I think I asked I've asked them to stop and I've met many people who've been this way, but this person wouldn't. And it got me to a point where I got so angry about it because they kept pushing in a negative manner. And I even warned them ahead of time, look, you're starting to frustrate me, please stop. And it, they kept pushing and pushing to the point where I got angry, and what you guys just saw my controller, that happened. In fact, I have said multiple times I'm surprised that controller even works still. That's kind of one prime example that I can think of off the bat. Thing is, it's not the only one. I'm not going to go too much into detail. I'm trying to make a shorter video just because I'm trying to do what I can to take as much of an off day as possible. Um, this is actually being recorded this same day, hours later, but the same day as the videos that were made yesterday. So I, I, I'm pushing things together. I'm trying to keep it together. I'm surprised I'm as energetic as I am right now, to be honest. But... I digress. What makes me angry? Why, why, why would I go to the point of that anyway? Well, because it's not gone without a warning. And the way I've seen it, and the way I've experienced it, when you come across somebody who is extremely optimistic, extremely kind-hearted, it's kind of like a relationship. Opposites attract, except it's bound in one person. When you attract an extremely positive person, at the same time you're extract, you're attracting, not extracting, a an extremely negative person. At the same time, they just choose to show the optimistic side more frequently, way more frequently. However, if that is the case, then they are probably a more optimistic person and they only become this pessimistic person if you bring that out. Many people in the past have actually, and even for me, even directed towards me, 
have accused of being, well, someone I'm not, in that regards, and talking, just discussing the manner, I always ask for evidence and proof, and some people have made feasible arguments, others have made just stupid statements in response. When the feasible arguments happen, I would be like, oh, okay, I can see where you're coming from, but look at it this way, I would explain my circumstance and it would ease the tension. But, whenever someone pushes without any kind of reason whatsoever, that kind of thing would frustrate me to the point where I actually have, let's put it this way, I. In a, in, in, in a play, in one of the places I used to live, I put a large indent in something I owned. Not the thing I just showed you, something else. In fact, something I don't even own anymore because of it. That's the, I guess, that's kind of why you really shouldn't piss off somebody who's extremely optimistic. I guess you could call this kind of a continuation of what I talked about a while ago. But this is more the reason rather than just the statement on its own. At least for me. Other people are different, and that's fine. In my case, this is why it shouldn't be. Either way around though, I'm gonna leave this video here. I guess question for today, since I can continuously do this anyway. What kind of actions would piss you guys off? I've kind of revealed what it is for me in the past with several videos, kind of including this one, but let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing to the channel because I do a live video like this every single day. Some of them longer than others, but who knows? We'll get to some point at some point. Hopefully at some point we can actually start doing um, conversations rather than just this kind of thing. But we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, and I hope to see all of you in another one. Bye for now.